Are you ready for uh, Brad? My favorite band of the tour. In the town of Brest in France, we played with a bunch of 19-year-old Frenchmen who really had the joie de vivre. Yeah. Slow slider. They were called the slow sliders. Yeah. Look out for them if you live in the West Brittany area. What was the name of the group we played with? And um, this wasn't this particular tour, but in uh, Stockholm, you were mentoring them. I think. Blue, the young girls. <laughs> oh yeah. In Stockholm. I forgot their name. <laughs> they were called like the Blue Something Boys. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Sun, Sun, Moon City Boys. Moon City Boys. Right, Moon maybe. Boys. We had a. Uh, a, a group open for us for all our shows in the UK called Proper Orders. Proper Orders. Proper Orders. Orders. Jesus. Uh, they're, the like <laughs> names. they're excellent. They're really cool. <laughs> France also too was kind of unexpectedly good. And, um, in northern France, we played some shows and it was nice. It was great. Yeah. I think we mostly let it flow. We don't really talk about what the, this record will sound like or anything. But I do think we consciously tried to make a record that sounded different than the previous records. But it's not something that we sit down and discuss or, or orchestrate in any way. The songs are just the songs we work on together and it's just sort of what comes out. So, a bit of both, I guess, is the best answer. Yeah, your influences change as you, you know, you listen to music, your relationship with music changes, I guess, so that came out of the record. I'd like, to, I'd like to hear the answer to this question. Um, How's it been? I boys? feel like. How well, are you doing, boys? I feel like when I joined the group, they became a band. Exactly. <laughs> and I kind of feel like I gave them direct. <laughs> no, I think. Uh, I mean, it's been a while. Uh, a it's been real. Andy I think was just a drummer originally. Yeah, yeah. that didn't go so hot. <laughs> Supposed to carry all the bags. Yeah. Um. Friend. Uh, 
Keegan did the artwork for uh, Nation of He did? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us more, Keegan. Uh, the, the, it was just uh, something like a, that I had found, like an old, uh, a very obscure record actually, and I just adapted it to fit the uh, Sacred Bones template, which is uh, consistent throughout all the releases. And uh, I've worked, so I do all the silk screening and such for Sacred Bones since the very beginning, so I sort of uh, understood how to stretch that, um, that template. Applied to the the constraints of the template, but also sort of uh, yeah subverted it a little bit, and uh, yeah. So the only uh, consistent element is the uh, the type. It says crystal stilts and such in the way that it normally would on a Sacred Bones record. But, uh, in 2009 uh, is when I joined the band and uh, I don't know I was friends with them beforehand so uh, yeah it was, we jumped right into uh, recording the second album in love with oblivion uh, shortly after that when I but you can never really know. So on that, you know, I think that's... <laughs> Tapers are welcome at our shows. Yeah. You can, uh, <laughs> Taper shows. 
<laughs> I got a killer like 2713. Yeah. I don't think we have any particular issues with free downloads. I mean, we haven't we haven't done much of it, right? But like for promotional purposes. Yeah. So we would we release a free song. I think our albums we put. You know, we spend more time on the records. They only come out every couple of years. So I think for that reason, and you know, we're not a band that makes a huge sum of money. So whatever money we could actually make from people buying the record, I think we'd like to make. But I, we don't have any philosophical uh, arguments against free downloads. People ask that question essentially every night at the merch thing if they, I'd say it's the same thing at Brad. But I think that the records have a good range across the three of them, so yeah, you could say, oh, I like the fast ones, then I might recommend the second album or something, or I like the moody ones, or you know, it's like, it depends. I've actually sometimes when people have asked, I've actually pointed them in the direction of the song Sycamore Tree, the first song on the second LP, because it's long and it sort of like has, I like that it has like, uh, you know, some instrumentally weird stuff, but it's also a song. That just happens to be an answer I've given in the past. Checking out LaNouvellePapier.com, the United Nations of Online Music Journalism. And we're Crystal Stills. Peace.